in the faces of their opponents. And it looks like a lot of these pictures are very, very backwards. That is not Bone Cold. He's not wearing the Gambit colors, but he is going to find himself an opening pick. Launching smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would be an interesting <laughs> outfit choice today for young old Bone Cold. Shados looking pretty good as well. Looks like the man himself. Shock darts coming through. Big damage on the Starzo right away. He's got to run. And make Duelist looking to take some fights, but Nats takes him down right away. Turning around to watch the flank. Such good play by Nats, but his teammates are still stuck in spawn. They can't get out and they need some help that man himself comes jumping out of hookah window and it's the distraction they need they're looking for some very early aggression right down through middle it's gambit that are trying blinded up on different angles ready to swing out and help their teammates good start from ascend and a good follow-up taking down the re-aggression from red guard dodging the flashes and although defo gets one that is little consolation for the bonus round that it is on, on gambit they really want to be walking out of this with three kills if they're feeling happy just to make it costly for ascend and make sure that with reinvestment in the next round act they're pushing both sides of the map they want both orbs and you know what i think they're gonna get them was that prepared? I mean, it feels like on some level they're used to that from stars or that position, or at least over on the uh, sand side. Losing a player that early on, getting traded out, then after they needed someone to step it up, and it looks like Killez is the man to do it. The A side is now theirs. Ascend overrunning it and getting their plant down. And we mentioned that there was an ulti online for Stars of CNED painfully close to a res as well as he falls, and no one else on Ascend is going to be able to get it done. It's not here and now. But if Nats finds a kill, Viper's pick can be online, and that could be a saving grace on this retake. If they can just find that little bit of space. It comes down to this battle, really, and it's going to be won by Red Gun. Now they just have to try and clear out the remaining couple of laps, and oh, Nats is going to get both. They almost tried to play that within a crossfire, but it just doesn't work out for Ascend. You have a lot longer to come online. One of them, though, already popped. In fact, for both... Oh. What?! I mean, he, he couldn't see the Seekers coming in, right? So it's a much cleaner shot on his side. Not able to find it at the start. The blast back not quite coming in, but here we go. Right up to the back of the side. He dives in to the orbital strike, taking so left. much damage, but it's unexpected. Gamut get completely blindsided by that. And for us, they're going to have his teammates break the wall for him so he can keep this control. It seems like Bone Cold was trying to check for it, but now Shados, he's got a showstopper of his own. No way, man. The blind comes in exactly as the showstopper goes up in the air to take the kill. This is disgusting. Gambit are just running all over them. There's no space for Ascend. Where can they go? Starzo's watching the back. He tries. Opinions about Judge on attack. Oh, I absolutely sake. love it. <laughs> You know, especially on the raise, get those blast pack plays in the back side, and I almost wish that the push didn't come in just so we'd see it. But with Redguard down, that's a weapon to be retrieved, and obviously now the judge uh, shouldn't really be in play to ensure the plant is safe. And now this is a... Funnels the remaining players straight through their own spawn, and uh, they've got everything locked. The only problem was Nats, but realistically, how much are they going to be able to do with this amount of time? Not a whole lot, you would imagine. At this point for Ascend, you, know, you just want to drop uh, these rifles, but they're starting to make some serious space, and that's taking down Kill as Spike. Going to be stuck at least halfway. Zeke making his way through the wall, gets caught, but it won't be defused just yet. The time now running very, very low. They've got to get on it. It's already done. The Molly lands right side up. A lot of the times, you won't even see teams take that out. And it's Ooh. not working. Of him's going to be very difficult. I love the guy, fantastic player, but he just seems to be unkillable. <gasps> Killers, he got pushed in the Spike smoke as, as he goes to trade his teammate. Chronicles already right up on him. Great response. You see that old go down. You want to get in it, get ahead of that Viper on the other team. And a pretty good round for Gambit. Yet it's B. They know that there is that Sky close on long, and they're going to deal with it right away. Zeke just diving right in, but gets taken down. Not finding the space. They'll continue forward. The flash faked out by Starzo as he drops in with the classic. Own Cold's already taken Redgar Seekers to secure the site, and they know now, hey, that Sky is still pretty close. Hunter's Fury to try and delay this a little bit longer. Oh, he's killed his teammate! Tag, and he took Defo down! I was, I was just looking at the red guys! Oh, God, that's so terrible! <laughs> Two man advantage for Ascend! This is an eco! This is a light by Ascend! They're saving oh, money for the next round! Oh, fuck you! What's going on right now? Gambit, the 
that might be the lifeline they need to try and get back into this. They're still against weak weapons. There's a judge in the hands of Bone Cold, but that might be a, a much more scary thing than a Vandal or a Phantom as they look to push out of this smoke. And there it is. The judge tearing apart Shados. The trade's in instantly. Patiently for the push to come in. Oh, no. He's caught Zenon. He looked like he was about to back away. The spike is actually right in front of him, but Bone Cold lands the headshot. So integral, but they're trying to isolate the spike, and that's exactly what they've done. We're taking them all down. Look at this. One by one, they go in, and Shados is making easy work of them. They hadn't even... That's going to be the showstopper pop. He's looking to blast back into the site. He can't get over there, though. The nade thrown up in front. The Seeker's in. That slowed him completely. They managed to drop Nats elsewhere. B fake has worked. Look, there's only one player trapped left. inside a lamps, and Redguard doesn't really have a choice here, but to take this fight, he's good for one to trade quickly in, and the plan secured. Ascend. Ooh, that's a shock dart. Four versus three. Good post plant utility to play with. This should be their round. Oh, that flash was gorgeous from Stargo. Both players trying to rotate in as blind as humanly possible. He's actually just gone straight through, trying to bait him out. But his killers doesn't fall for it. He's going to be able to get Pulling rid of off. his CIS brother in arms and one out into the five versus four. Again, so much to delay. Starzo, though, incredibly low. Well, they're pushing them down. They're trying to go for the classic Final jump peaks player. with the right clicks coming in. And it's yeah. working uh, for C now. Oh, my. Remaining. Nats alone. One versus three. He has that poison orb to help him on a fight in through Hookah, but they have plenty of time. They're just going to run this down as the toxins slowly deplete. Eventually, the walls and orbs fall. Here they come, spotted him on the backside. He's into the smoke. Put it on Twitter. One enemy well, we didn't need to go there. Down. Exactly for all the world to see because CNED's now in the perfect spot. This is the bonus round. This shouldn't even be close. This is the one we expect Gambit to win, and it's falling apart. Running out of time. Switch over to that judge, and now it's left. All on to Redguard to try and find two kills in 10 seconds because he is not getting a plant. Uh, he's not getting the kills either, Tom. I mean, in fairness to Redguard, the man got... But pistols in this one once again. These slow rounds so far have not been... We know how long a brimstone... The kind of comp that they're up against here in Ascend, they have a lot of stopping power, so it's not necessarily going to be... Uh, successful if you just go charging in, but well, the ladder isn't showing too much reward as you said, Tom. Starzo's even gonna just creep away from that reveal bone cold on the peak for four. Give him the ace. That's not what I've seen before. Pac Man. It's gone a little bit wrong, but yeah, he's just, oh he's just chewing up half of the map. I, I, I'm not sure I've seen a bigger ult than that. It's not gonna matter too much though, because even though they've got half of it locked down, the other half is being taken away from them. Nats with the triple. Already the flank coming through, but at this stage, they should be expecting Starzo to be there. And that says his own little Viper's Pit now after that play. Killas just loses his over towards the B side. He's fully made that rotate into A. A shot by Starzo, but he's going to be all alone and an ace clutch needed. Hey, he's done it already. He's found an ace before, but this time he will be denied. The weapons in the hands of Gambit certainly wish him probe. Mid A and Shados doing the same into Hookah, but Bone Cold, he's been on today. I think that's his 20th kill of the map already. Oh, not too shabby. I've got your trail. The ace that we saw before, the orbital strike online, but hey, Gambit, they're a man down already. Those ulties might not be necessary. Unless they want to fight through the, the Viper's Pit, of course, because it's now being erected by Nats, and they're going to look to take some fights together. Orbital Strike pushes them out of position. Spike is down on the floor. Still haven't managed to deal with that Viper, but it looks like they're about to catch Redgar out in the open, and Starso turns to take Nats. How did he... team haven't been able to push, and he's already on elbow. Unfortunate for Chronicle, he wanted to get that tag in and try to follow up. No, they don't. They don't know he's going up behind them. I have absolutely no idea. Okay. They would have thought they would have read that one. But Chronicle now alone had they, you know, they had Chronicle start by putting the drone up through long. It almost caught the tag on the CNED, which would have allowed for... Well, it's not looked particularly good. They let things slip when it came to their defense. And, oh, Z, oh, see you later. You might have a, a showstopper of your own. Bishados is going to blast through. Stars are the... Oh, I thought for a moment he might be able to get a couple. But I think Nat's got that kill while blind.
But look who's no, right behind them. There's two players, in fact, flanking it in. CNED takes the first, and here's Bone Cold swinging out for more. They spotted Redgar in the corner, and he's quickly Spike dispatched, leaving Chronicle eight. all alone. That Hunter's Fury not likely to be used here as Zeke gets rezzed up. Killa is going for the fight. Of course, he's the last man alive. But on the line as we get into the pistol. Since February, and one that they play regularly. A 41-4 record. Absolutely absurd. But they are up against CNED, and he's already managed to find a couple of heads to at least kick things off. They've got a lot of space, though. Already deep control in towards B, but there's actually no one there for the defense. They just don't know that yet, and the spike actually still has to cross, but Shados gets the timing perfect. Please, Shados would probably have his gun in hand. So now the problem for Ascend is getting back in here, Tom. They don't really have a lot here. to play with because as they go in, look at this. All three players are on the back side. And, well, it's going to be hard off. to take those duels. <laughs> That's nasty, man. Yeah, yeah, you almost have to jump into the angle, which is just not a no fight you're really going to win. The only thing that's there, maybe some shock darts can be thrown into the back corner to try and force them out of position. They now know exactly where every single member of this squad is. And you know what? CNED's already got his third kill of the round. It's starting to get a bit dangerous. But Redgar goes alongside it. Like, this really isn't good. Defo's going to have to do something incredible. And in fact, he just gets a bullet in the face. Yeah. Good attempt. This stage, they almost have to run through mid because they don't have the time to actually go all the way back around, which just means they're going to have to face straight into Bone Cold. And he still has his paranoia in mind. He's not going to use it, though. In fact, he just gets traded out almost instantly. It leaves CNED on his own. And with the operator here, it could actually be a bit of a problem of him being overwhelmed. In fact, he misses the first shot. Luckily, Killers is alongside him. And the second flick is lightning oh. fast. Nats! will get two, but he should be dead as he attempts to plant this. Almost needs to go for the kills, and he runs out of bullets as he goes spraying into the head of Starzo. This G2 really did not look good, and with Gambit feeling so comfortable here, they're definitely not going to be scared about you know losing that one round to the rifles of Ascend, and already to beat Gambit at the game they want to play. Now, Ascend definitely have the players to do that. Unfortunately, thus far, it, it's not exactly going great. Killers goes down very early. CNED now basically has to kill everyone. He is going to manage... Paranoia just got used to pull him off the angle if he was still peeking long. They're trying to flank. The bullets aren't connecting. CNED is no going way. to go through the smoke and take that down. He's back Three. out for more. Three kills on the board for CNED. And a round that looked certain to be in the hands of Gambit when the timer ticked away. Now is contested. Five CNED five even has the ultimate to play with. No updrafts or dashes which is going to be a, a little bit hampering. He's getting a heal up. The wall is broken. They know both players are up above. At least they should do. Those slow is landing. Stopping Shados from really repositioning the recon. To slow them down that little bit as CNED takes the operator back out. He clears the angle. A fourth kill. The ace not quite going to be there because Starzo comes in at the final hour. And a little thumbs up. They're slowing it down. They're not looking to get over aggressive and a wall bang headshot. Connects to Zeke, Starzo. Try and bait in some shots from Redgar. Oh. He still gets the kill. That was that was the point of that move from Cnev was to try and bait in the peak. And well, Redgar gets the kills anyway. This might just have to be a save for killers. But the spike operator. <laughs> Okay. And now, Hunter's Fury pursuing a player, not finding a kill, but CNET does. Um, hey, along with the wall, the dash actually going to come through on the other side, though, and Defo, he's, he's getting caught quite often. Now, of course, it's his role. Oh, so, shot. there you go. Something new. It's oh. up at the Spectre. They nearly lose a player. CNET is staying aggressive! And he's what? got one through the smoke! Caught on the way back, though. Defo picks up a double. Now on the site, really trying to hunt down Zeke, who's just on one HP. Two, but, you know, close enough. HP in the twos, Tom. This is Ascend. Having a pretty tough time to retake on this one. The res almost online for Starzo, though, Tom. If he can just manage to find a kill, these numbers could equalize up. Well, swing in their favor very quickly. Oh, the spam through. It has to get him eventually. The three players assisting and shade us in the back lines to close things out. Starzo maybe being able to get that res of it. So difficult. He's not going to get a res this round either, Tom. He's just been domed by Defo, who's evidently starting to pick up a lot of confidence. So we talked about this guy's role in this team. Go forward, try to find some openings. Sir, you're taking the 50-50s, oftentimes disadvantageous exactly fights right. by dashing forward. Oh, kill us. Wants to get up on that, but he can't get anything done. They now know that Zeke is up close, too. So swinging on that would basically be suicide. He might just go for it anyways. Looks like Zeke is keen to take a duel. 
Seen that elsewhere, picks up a frag, steps her towards the B site. They know that this is going to be a B hit at this point. The cage behind Zeke won't actually cover him. He's still up close and they didn't suspect it. A double for Zeke. Oh! And into three. One percent win rate over 45 maps. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. Killers, though. But this is what we want to see from the On their defense, 8-1. It was dominant. And that can fill you with a little bit more faith, but we want to see that kind of 7-5, 6-6 scoreline, and it's not looking too likely as the kills just keep on going. The sends way. Oh, I love this play! It's an anime fight in spawn! Dashes, updrafts, and knives, but it's CNED that falls. Defo with a spectacular push, and Chronicle does well to extend this into, well, not an advantage per se, but with the control that they have, perhaps it is the B-side about to be crunched in on Killez. Late to the fight coming in on that A-rotate. But you've still got Bone Cold and Zeke holding down this site. Ready and waiting. Defo quickly eliminates one. Dashes to site. The support is teammate. has already made quick work of Zeke. A plant in. Killez has to clutch. Spike planted. A single kill here and well, that Empress becomes ever more deadly. The ability to turn invisible, to disappear to your opponent's eye, and he's a little bit wary of the flank behind. There is that first kill. Now he can look to try and clear out, get a little bit of extra information. Now you do have the knives available for Defo and an operator as well. Not going to get anything more. The Empress actually faded as well, so he's not going to have that advantage anymore. The tags getting Defo ever low. It comes down to the one versus one. The classic can do it, but it's the right click from the knife. Half of 6-6, six, six, but CNED... Oh, he's looking for some revenge. The knives pulled out for himself, and he misses the ball. Oh, no. This might roll them into a full sense that he doesn't have an operator, but I guess it doesn't matter. They're fairly good read coming in from Ascend. They have the knowledge of the likelihood of where they'll push, but it's just an entry fragment. with the operator just swinging into angles. Starzo will at least find the trade. He's still alive and kicking. He's got the res available to him as well to bring this back into a 4v4. In the meantime, though, the B site now being pressured as well. Oh, Chronicle's already out. They walk right into him, but Zeke holding in hand is shredding them. Defo left alone on 50 HP. A hero he has certainly been. Has to reload that operator and find two more kills. 30 seconds on the clock. Spike down shot. Not quite going to get the kill for him here. He's down to the bulldog. He's running out of ammo. The pistol comes out to break the door. And the operator... Oh, he even... He connected that shot. At this point, but they still have to get through Gambit. And that is not an easy task. Killers, though. This might be where he's able to thrive. Moving on to that attacking side. That entry fragger roll. Just looking to run straight through all the utility. Closing the door. Rengar actually gets a kill there. And Chronicle finds another that's not bad for gambit especially after kill has found the opening and healed up to 150 health he had a massive buff going in for that fight but met way too many players and utility along his way bone cold for a second thought about jumping up it looks like a more passive stance is going to be taken the wall about to be broken starzo ready to punish any who stepped close and the right click deals with them perfect positioning nats above Looking to sneak out as a distraction is made by Shados, but there's so many players here. They have the manpower to watch it, it doesn't matter. Nats gets it done. One Smoke down, remaining. players behind it. Nats with another, and it leaves it all onto Bone Cold, who's quickly dealt with. That is a gorgeous retake. That kill where he drops down. Because that must have been an insta shot. Standing ahead. Yeah, I think it was a spam because the smoke had already well bloomed by the time he shot. Maybe he saw the feet, but my guess is it was just straight through the smoke. That Spectre. Oh, it's Farmville. Spike Red Gar and Nats. They even get the spike. Another one way going to be chucked up above. And, well, Ascend don't have a, a great chance at this one. And, and Tom... It's not exactly the eco that we often expect out of these second rounds. You know, Ascend decided to force by. They wanted to answer back the gambit right away. And, well, the remaining Spectres don't stand the best of chances. One enemy remains. No, especially considering they're isolated as well. So that these double man pushes coming through. Kill will come through for Starzo. But as you said, it's not a normal round. So we're not going to give it the same parameters. Like Normally, if you're, you're looking at some classics... Like but it's Defo tucked up in the corner with that rifle. Who's about to take the opening fight and he wins it easily. And the best thing about it is he can just get out of there. No problems at all. 35 seconds up and coming on the clock, and they look like they're about to push into 
what is Nats is set up, and now he has to support that rifle. We're going to see the initial Leers going through, trying to deny some space. They know that Nats is here, or should have a decent idea, but the crossfire of him and Redgar have actually managed to hold on. He's lurking within the smokes that Jet has thrown down, and finally we start to see trades come in. It's bone cold, waking up to the table, and the Rez is going to turn this around on his head. Time is so low, Ten though, that plan left. has to be found. Really and if they have any way of delaying it, that would Five stop the round here and now. But it looks Last like it goes comfortably down in the flank up by Starzo. Finishes it. Fine, the wall is about to go up. Look, these guys have got a nice angle on the side. Shadoff needs to be ready for it, and that he is! Even catching them on the TP to Five side down. spike down. They know it's commitment, One and Shadoff keeps on fragging. Three on the board, leaving CNED to do it alone. One versus three. He fake plans, but nobody bites. Last they are playing this nice and passive. If they're giving him the space and hey you know what we'll retake us a three man that's no problem he's tagged up he's trapped on the back side they are rushing him down <laughs> Defo. someone brings up the flag Kirk is not from CIS <laughs> gonna be raging later seen it he's actually gone the rivalry between himself and Defo settled in this round in his favor the sin I've lost kill as and red uh makes this so costly. Starzo seen it and even Bone Cold. Redgar's looking for the ace and it's only Zeke to stop him. A devastating blow to this Ascend side and the clutch is needed, but he might just be on for it. Chronicle drop shotting with an Odin. I guess guaranteed to have, wow. I didn't expect combat that early in the round, Tom, I'll be honest, and seen it has- They don't want to allow for it, seen it. Well, it you seems has forced them away. Instead, they re-aggress, and while they res one player, and they lose another straight back. You have to wonder, at this point, you know, his bone cold kind of in his own head, it can be really tough. If you start to get... This could be very dangerous. Chronicle with the Odin of close. He peeks, and he's already pre-aiming it. What a disgusting shot as Zeke falls. He presumes they're already on the site. The TP coming in confirms it, but Starzo shuts him down. That's the spike on its way into the site. Redgar has managed to TP up back. He's here in the steps. He knows they're close, but they know he's here. It doesn't seem to matter. He still manages to connect on the Starzo, and the numbers remain even. Oh, nice shot by CNED. But the knives aren't able to connect afterwards. It's damage, and it's scaring Shados. He's waiting for his buddy, his teammate, to come on in. The cam not quite getting CNED out of the way, but knives still to play with. An aggressive play style is expected. He switched up oh, to the right oh, side. Oh, oh, oh. And we go. Four in a row seemed pretty tough. But now that they're only looking at two, Tom, it's starting to look like we might be getting an overtime out of this. He's just waiting and watching. He knows the players are coming through. The tag there as well. Even though he's paranoid, he can still find the kill, but doesn't actually get anything. Defo, though, has already managed to pick off one. The Hunter's Fury will surely find another. It's looking like the beginning of the end. Five versus three as they need to fight this back. The push through the smoke by Zeke. It was a glimmer of hope, but Chronicle is quick to shut it down and kill. That'll be the extra piece of information. Can't afford to shoot it and almost gets it done, but doesn't find the kill. Chronicle very low in health. He did get the kill, but wasn't able to heal up off of it. He's going to try to use his low health to his advantage. Playing that sneaky little corner bait for his teammates. Potentially go down or trade out afterwards. I thought he had a gap in that wall. It looked left. like it, but it's safe. It's secure. He's gone up above, and Chronicle's got one. Healing up almost takes down the planter, isolates him, and allows his teammates to follow up on it. Further pushed by Redgar, lights up CNED, and he's all alone to clutch oh. this out. Three on the board already, though. Nats and Shados remain. They still have to defuse. His HP is desperately low. And both of these players have shields to work with, so it is easy peasy. Although Towards that A site. They've shifted their focus in Chronicle. We've seen it many times before. The Element, the one that spearheaded, made it a staple of the A-Site defense, the solo Reina. He's still going aggressive. No shot landed, which means he can't escape. And Defo left. even gets shut down up above. This leaves the site into a sense control. A very tough retake for Gambit, considering the weaponry they have and the utility as well. They even had to use Shados' wall right at the start of the round because Killez had revealed him in the close corner. And that means that they can't even afford to kind of block off these angles a little later. It's about as awkward as a position as it could get for Zeke. He's just farming. Padding those stats. 
Last man left is Shados. And even an extra kill here would be fine. For, for a bonus round, it's not really much of a problem. Get an extra ultimate orb. I, I think that we, we saw at the beginning when talking about X factors for this squad. I, I know that we saw the mention. They're very worried about that operator in the hands of Defo, and they're right to be. That wall isn't down. Defo gets away with murder. Now he's going to destroy that drone, hopefully, before they can spot the Reyna. And I'm not sure if they will have seen him. They definitely did now. And again, no escape for Chronicle. Defo does well to trade it back, but the site is being overrun. Shados is in. He's running in to try and take a fight. That is a brave play when the rest of his <laughs> team is locked out by a wall, but he's made it out unscathed. Well, that's exactly what I was talking about. The man is just disrespectful. <laughs> he doesn't care. He normally finds a lot of impact from that position as well, but this time it's not really been this necessary so far. Seen and homed in on the angle. Counter operator on the other side, but in fact, Redgar's taken that away to allow Defo to try and gain some more space with him. Starzo is going to turn it into a 3v3 triangle for a little bit more, but Defo's still going strong. His third kill of the round already. Nice shot from Sinan. And now we're going to see the Blade Storm on either side, but this time Defo will come out on top. It's Gambit to little bit. To get CNED another operator. And they are looking like they'll get themselves an afterplant. The spam coming through, war being broken, and Nats is actually going to deny that altogether, even putting down a snake bite to make sure they can't retrieve it instantly. And actually starts pushing into his own, taking a little bit of damage, and Zeke just goes straight through it, has to dismiss to get out of there as well. A 4v4 that maybe never should have been, and they've retrieved the spike once again and start to take this into their own hands. Oh my. A great recon by Killer has really set them up for it. And these are the two oh, teams, I think, <gasps> happy to... Oh yeah, it'd, it'd be mad if he just shot through it. He's gonna get a kill anyway. Surely not. Surely not! He goes into the smoke! Most people retreat! Not this man! Defo goes forward into... Peek that, go down for the mid-peaks? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Who stands there when you smoke it off? And then lets them push in, and then stays aggressive! He's a psycho, but it works. I love it. And speaking of aggression, after they lose the early man, they want to fight back. Shados, he actually gets two! The second kill comes through, but there's a res available. It puts it into a four versus three. They're gonna need this man to pop off once again. The dash will at least get him back into the site, but well, you better believe he's not done just yet. So many opportunities to re-aggress. The slow actually still give him, gives him an angle to peek around. He could get around the back, but Zenit is ready for it. And now Zeke looks to take control of the rest of the site. There is a flank, Mitch, but it's a little bit far behind from where they'd like it to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that Nats had the option to accelerate this, but definitely going to be something yeah. that's expected, and you see that with the recon going down. As Sander conscious of the flank, and they've got plenty of players to cover it, and that's the main thing. If these players on the site manage to drop one or two more, that was, that was damn close. Out of there, using the dismiss. Oh my god. <laughs> They're sitting pretty right now. A Gamut are slowing it down. Yeah, they got that three-man B-stack. Nats wants to go for a little bit of a peek. He can get out of there. Chances of that could be slim though as I feel like they're going to expect him at this point and they do he does however Bye. get the kill But he can't escape Oh man, that was a damn good attempt staying alive <laughs> up top of sand rushing over to the side to get this plant in Shados could deny it. He's spraying away he gets there, but not Ooh. in time still can't even get the kill Nats eliminates phone call, but it's seen it in a 1v2. He's dangerous the flank though. Is he aware of it? No the timing perfect by Redgar gonna be a very different approach by Ascend Quickening the pace a little bit and eliminating Chronicle right away. He's not gonna be a thorn in the side of the late round this time Zeke could even go a little bit more aggressive here. You can already feel him jumping over, and it's a bait for Cena to take Nats down. Wow, beautiful play. The shade also stuck behind this wall. There's a small gap for him to try and get through. Operators seem to be the dominant force of this match so far. Cena on top just about misses, and that gives the opportunity here for them. They are only one behind the res. Brings it up into their favor a little bit more, but Starzo completely ruined. <laughs> Seen it though, he's got lots of kills. In fact, he might have enough for the both of them. He's gonna win that opener <laughs> once again. Just thriving on the attacking side. Chronicle, you couldn't see a thing. Just pre-fired the angle in the hopes of finding something and he's getting more and more aggressive this time. Isn't able to dismiss away. Uh, that's Mitch's sign that Killers is now on the board. And well, 
Uh, I don't know if it was necessarily the difference maker, but it now puts Nat no, I was all to a killers. one versus four. That was all kill us. His round right there. Let's see. He's going for more. Going for double, but kill us. Can't. Already. We're going to have a brawl in the early stage of the round. Really nice shock dart coming in from Killers and Zeke. He's just going to shut it down with Seeded. At least get closer to the fight this pit. Would be nice. No, enough to, uh, to learn that one well. Killers up close. the roof. Going to be challenged. Nice stuff. Gambit open up the mid control. Methodical. They have players watching. No chance that Bone Cold gets past that angle without fully hitting on. him in the face. Like, th this is a Gambit's perfect round. An, an early kill. They wait for players to push, pick up the second, and now they can just wander into the site. Like, this is almost exactly how it would have been planned from the very beginning. It's very uncharacteristic when you think about, uh, at least for you and I, Tom, what you think of with CIS teams. But CNED's coming in. 30 seconds left. Catch them from behind. Nat's already down. Player up above's been spotted. There's a little bit of pressure on Gambit. It's been a very good early round. They get their post plans, but now they don't really have any ground of their own. They're kind of stuck in the middle of all these players, and CNET and Starzo are shutting them out. Okay, Defo manages to return another, but the numbers are now just equalized, and Zeke does well to find one, heals himself up. It's going to be the battle with Defo, but he's only 8 HP. He needs the headshot as he comes around the corner in the dash. Not going to get too much done. Chronicle, though, he's caught. If I could watch that 10 more times, then I still wouldn't understand how, and I feel like that's going to have big impact later on in the round. He's hit behind the wall. Nice shot. Defo's down. The trade is in, though. Gonna be on Zeke. Ten seconds left Ten for that spike to be left. planted. They have to get it done here and now. I'm caught on the crossover. There is no way. Comfortable on. They are now on map and series point. This round here or a set of abilities to have on. Take oh, here's the wall up eventually, and they're not ready for it. Killers gets rushed down. Great play by Gambit. Had the option before and avoided it. Now the dash into sight. CNET knows there's a player below. Has to dash out of the way. Knives out. And somehow Knife Zeke is just a. destroying them. CNET delivers the knives to Defo's head. And Shados is the last man standing. He has to hold on in a 1v4. 